Why do I watch these movies? Hey guys, it's Caleb from KCNE Studios, and today I'm going to be continuing my gamma thon and we are on the second to last Gamera movie in the Showa series. Gamera vs. Zegra. So, okay, story. I I'm just going to get right into this. Story is just the same as all the other Gamera Showa movies. It's the same alien invasion kind of thing. Gamera fights the monster at first and then he loses and he's gone for a while and then there's a big boring gap. And then they finally get to the fight scene where Gamera finds out how to beat the monster. And there you go. That's the story. I'm sorry, but there really isn't that much else to it. I want to talk about the characters. This movie was a little different in terms of the characters. I mean, the, ca the main characters were still children, but it didn't really feel like they were the main characters. I guess there were four main characters. There was the two kids and then both their dads, I think. The weird thing about this movie is they get abducted by the aliens to like all together. And I guess that was just a small difference. I mean... The only difference this movie has, like, against the other Gamera Showa movies is just, you know, small differences. I mean, all the other Gamera movies have just some small differences, but it doesn't make it any better or any worse, to be honest. Also, the the kids in this movie, these were probably the most annoying um, kids in the Gamera Showa series. Because, look, let's be honest, these kids are like, one of them is a three-year-old, and then another is like a seven-year-old. And they have such high-pitched voices and so annoying, like, stop talking, children. Um, and then the rest of the characters were just really bland and, you know, that, that's really all there is to it. There was also an alien character, but she wasn't very interesting either. Zegra in this movie, okay, the, the, for a antagonist monster, I have to say, this was a really bad monster. I would put him down there with, like, Viras or something because... I mean, his design, first of all, isn't that great. I mean, it's better under... It, it's okay when it's underwater, but when he's standing up, it's like he's got this suit made out of foam mat. Then his head is just kind of like on... It, it's huge and stuff, and it's like on there, and it's like wib, wo, wibbling around, like trying to balance it on his head. And it's like it's going to fall off, so that looks really bad. Other than that, but the monster itself talks like Viras. Zegra, he's... Uh, he's got the, his roar, but it sounds like he, it, it literally sounds like, like, it sounds like something's being slapped. I don't know, the, 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 like, like, like a belt is slapping like a chair or something, I don't know. I don't know. That, his, his roar is weird in this, but he does talk, like he talks, he speaks Japanese. Um, if you're watching the Americanized version, if there is one, he'd be speaking English, obviously, but it, he speaks Japanese. I was watching the, the, the subbed version. And his voice is all like deep and weird and alieny and stuff, and it's just weird, it's, and it's dumb too. I don't, needless to say, I really don't care for this movie at all. It bored me, and I'm gonna be honest, I skipped through parts just so it could go faster. Because this movie, unlike some of the other Gamera movies in the Showa series, this one, it takes like half the movie for the monster just to show up in his normal appearance. Um, he starts out as like a little ship. Or like, like a little submarine, Zegra. He starts off as like a little ship. And he's like swimming in the ocean and stuff. You don't, like, when it shows his, when it sh first shows him, it shows his fins. And you think that would be him in his fish form. But no, it's like the submarine has like fins. It's weird. And then it, it wasn't even halfway through the movie. It was more than that till Zegra first appears. So Gamera, he also doesn't make an appearance for a long time. The plot was weak like all the other ones. There's just, this one, there's just not really that much to talk about, to be honest. I'm just going to give it my rating. I'm going to give it on a scale of 1 to 5. I'm going to give it a 1 out of 5, like pretty much all the other uh, Game Room movies in the Showa series. Because it's dull, it's boring. It is just such a waste of time, to be honest. Like, these movies, why am I watching them? I'm just, I, the only reason I'm watching these movies is because I have to review them. I have to s uh, it's just so I could say, I reviewed all the Gamera movies, and thank goodness this is the second to last one, so the next one is going to be like the last one for me to have to review, and um, from the cover it looks like they ripped off Star Wars, I mean there's literally a Star Destroyer right behind him, so they totally ripped off Star Wars there, I, I hope, I hope Day I got, I hope Day I got sued, I really do because 
they totally just ripped off Star Wars with that Star Destroyer in the background. But yeah, that's the next movie. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.